good YouTube man it is your boy Hollywood Troy man back with yet another video you guys and today we are going to be taking a look at the recently released Air Jordan 7 Citrus let's get it Hand, the Air Jordan 7 Citrus, you guys. Now, this shoe just recently released uh, yesterday. I went to go pick the shoe up yesterday, and it, and it did release. And it is an awesome shoe, a fantastic shoe, you guys. This one right here was a definitely most must cop for me. The original release of this shoe was back in 2006. We are going to get into those details as well. But right now, just looking at the shoe, this shoe is an awesome shoe. Uh, I see a lot of people did end up sleeping on this, this shoe right here. Why? I kind of guess, I, I guess, I don't know. I, I really don't know, but I, I guessing because of the whole uh, colorway itself and probably just, uh, a lot of people just not big on sevens, I guess, right now. Probably that right there might play a factor into it, but I'm just guessing just overall colorway uh, itself is why a lot of people just probably just slept on this on this sneaker right here. Me, I wasn't going to sleep at all, so I probably might even go and just get another pair, just have a secondary pair just for one to wear and one to keep it as a DS. Now this shoe right here is, it's just flawless. I really don't see nothing. I see a little, hmm, I, wanna, I don't wanna say no, I don't wanna call it defense or the suede, I don't know. It just probably look like overall, just everybody just like one shoe handlers or whatever, probably touching it and stuff when they're probably going through the checking phase and then looking at the shoe and uh, passing the grade for the shoe. So that's like about the only thing that I'm looking at right now. I don't know if you guys can actually see it. Probably when you look at the shoe from like different angles, see if I can hold it from different angles. Hope you guys can catch that. If not, then yeah, that's all about the only thing. Other than that, the shoe is spectacular, it's perfect. Uh, love the new buck. Feels great. Feels like genuine quality new buck. Uh, the everything about the shoe just just came out excellent. I mean, I wasn't expecting nothing less of it. Don't have the original 2006 pair to compare it to. Like always, you guys, I never really have the older ones to compare to, so you already know my issues back then. Definitely couldn't afford those sneakers like that. Not like that, man. They would either, every once in a while, get some sneakers and damn sure wouldn't get no J's. So, yes, I had J's back then in my time. I had some of the Chutneys when they first came out, the Jordan Lowe's Chutneys. I actually had the Flints back then when I was a kid, but these were like when I was a kid, middle school, man. So, uh, probably elementary, as a matter of fact. So, yeah, but other than that, Afterwards, can't really afford it, so you already know that's why your boy got them now. But yes, I do think that this sneaker right here is definitely, definitely top notch, man. I, I just hands down, it was already going to be a must cop. I, I don't know, I just, I just like the, the play on colors that they did with this the whole uh, red and the citrus orange and the black, and just it just plays out very well. I, I like the colorway a lot. I mean, it's different, it's kind of bold and stands out a little bit more than like they regular red and blue even though this has red in it i think the orange kind of brings it out i have nothing wrong with the red and blue you know traditional jordan colorway and stuff but i do like every now and then when they do something different like how the hair is got like all the different colors so sometimes i might bash shoes for having different color different colors and sometimes they just just looks flawless and looks nice like this right here so a little bit of history and detailing of the shoe Returning for the first time since its debut in 2006, Air Jordan 7 Citrus features a black color premium nubuck throughout much of its construct uh, throughout much of its construction, with citrus marking the adjacent accents as well as the contrast stitching throughout. Varsity red parallels the titular warm tone across the midsole and heel patch, while appearing along across the tongue branding, lining, and pulled tabs. This particular rendi rendition of the Air Jordan 7 Retro is inspired by Ray Allen of the Bucks as part of the Jordan City Series release. Ray had a hand had a hand in the design. This pair of uh, the Bucks inspired colors and design helped set it aside from other models. 
I like to get everyone's opinion on this sneaker right here. Did you guys, how do you guys feel about this shoe, man? I, like I said, I do see a lot of people wasn't feeling it. I mean, it has been a whole day. I'm looking online right now at Pro Locker. Uh, most of the shoes are gone now, so. Like a lot of them, they were still sitting like throughout the whole day yesterday. But I was seeing right now that uh, a lot of them is gone now. I don't know if they might, most likely they're probably still gonna be sitting in stores. I might check the sneaker apps when I get off of here, but and I might check a few more different apps and uh, uh, retail sneaker stores when I get off just to see if they're still like got some in stock. If not, that's cool. The shoe finally sold out, I guess, did a little bit better as I was looking at it yesterday, just was still sitting all day. So that's just like how the Jordan 5. Uh, oh damn, what the hell was the name of it? Concord was still sitting, so yeah. But I would just want to know you guys' opinion, man. How you guys feel about these shoes, man? So, me, I, I like it a lot. Uh, sh I probably even, I don't, I don't know about that. I was about to say, man, I probably even throw some orange shoes trains in it, but then again, I don't, I don't know, man. You know, uh, at least some red, probably. I, I, we'll see, we'll see. Yes, yeah, so with that right there, all been said, you guys, this is another late video. Can't help it. I mean. I'm mean, just calling me the late video guy, I guess, man. That <laughs> it is what it is, you guys. Just this this is how I gotta get my shoes, man. I gotta get my shoes on release date. So there it is there. Anyway, another late video, you guys. Uh great shoe came out great, came out excellent, love it, feels great. Yeah, I mean I can't even wait to do the on foot for you guys. Of course you guys gonna see that. It's gonna be on and popping. Like I said, man, let me know how you guys feel about the shoe. I love the shoe, man. The shoe came out awesome to me. I, I like it a lot. Can't wait y'all sport this out there. Definitely gonna do some things with this, man. Be looking nice out there in the streets, man. But I don't really have anything else to say about it. Other than that, it's a great shoe, man. Not, not, no real defect, no glue defect, none of that. Came out great, came out awesome, you guys. So, yeah. That is it, everyone, man. This is your boy, Hollywood True. I'm about to be out, but you already know the deal, man. I'm about to just start telling y'all, man, before I even get started with the video, you guys. Hit that subscribe, man. Hit that like, you guys. I mean, I don't see why you guys not doing that, man. Just hit that subscribe, man, for your boy one time. One time. Tell your friends to subscribe, man. Tell your, tell your, tell whoever you need to tell them. Hit that subscribe, man. Hit that like, man. Get that watch time up, you guys, man. This is your boy, Hollywood Troy. I'm about to be on, man. Hit me up in the social medias as well. Enjoy the on foot. I'm out of here, you guys. Peace. Love y'all. Thank you for watching.